Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. No long intro, we are going to jump into it very quickly. But before we do that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also turn on notifications. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and start with Mohamed Kudus. Guys, Mohamed Kudus has been announced as an ambassador for Techno. If you have not seen the video yet, let's check it out together. You know, these legal documents, he'll be witnessing for Kudus Mohamed and Mr. Ricky Wang witnessing for Techno, Mr. Maxwell Techi there, pending a signature to the newest, freshest, latest member of the Techno family, Kudus Mohammed. Welcome to the family. This is indeed a historic moment. Remember, Techno stops at nothing, just like Kudus Mohammed, stopping at nothing to make sure he gets the work done on the pitch for club and club. So guys, you have seen Mohamed Kudus signing all the necessary documents to be an ambassador for Techno and I'm happy for the player because last weekend he was winning two awards at the Ghana Football Awards. We're happy for him, we're excited and mentioning his name. And this week, another good news, Mohamed Kudus, ambassador for Techno. And I'm sure people who really love Mohamed Kudus to death are going to use Techno because he has joined the family. And all I want to say is that Mohamed Kudus is always in the news for the right reasons. Just quite recently, Ghanaians were talking and now he's replied people. He's saying, shut the fuck up and all those things. I mean, yes, he's a human being. He's not a robot. But then we all love Mohamed Kudus and it's so evident that after he got announced as an ambassador for Techno, everyone is talking about it. We are happy for the player, which is so, so good. And if you go to Saudi Arabia, I mean, Charlie, the people, they love the Kudus pass for you. Why right? does it make sense? Like, although we did, Charlie, uh, although we did one, I mean, the way they, they love Kudus, they are saying Kudus come to our Hilal, Kudus come to our Nasset, Kudus come to our Etihad, we will give you this, we will give you that, Charlie, you people should relax. We want to see Kudus play EPL Sumo. Yes, the money there, you will give it to Kudus, but then we also want to enjoy Kudus Sumo playing in the top league. So, I mean, the ball is in the court of Mohamed Kudus. Whether he wants to go for the money or get some personal accolades, that's the decision the player has to make with his family. So, guys, that is the latest update concerning Mohamed Kudus. And let's move away from that and talk about Enes Nyama. Chani, are there six of speculation say Enes Nyama would be leaving Lyon, you know, next season? And... I mean, it, it, it hurts me because he's one player that we all knew that when it comes to the French League, ah, next Mbappé, I'm telling you, you all knew, you all had the ambition, say, if NS Nama comes to French League, ah, next Mbappé. So we all understood that him leaving New Zealand to Lyon was the best move for him because Mike Lason had then had supported the move. But then he didn't go to Lyon straight home. He had to go to Molenbeek. And then Molenbeek loaned him to Lyon. Now, that whole deal cost 18 million euros. Now, let me just explain something to you that people really don't understand. Now, Molenbeek and Lyon are owned by the same person called Texa. Now, due to proximity, these two teams can try that, such as loaning out players amongst both teams. So, that is what happened. That was how it was made possible for Lyon to get Ernest Nyama on loan. During that time, they were being investigated. That's the one where we investigated for some financial no fair play and all those things. Now that yeah, the season has ended, Leon didn't really do well you know, the uh, in the previous season. And as Niyama, he didn't get a great start. He didn't get a great debut. Leon as a team, they were getting things you know, together, getting to the close of the season. They are facing financial constraints and now they want to downsize. Then downsizing has bring an issue. That means that some players need to go. And Ernest Nyama has been caught in the cross S. And people are complaining that ah, our own Mbappe. Now, because of financial situation, he has to go back to Molenbeek Because on paper, that is how things are. But then the good news is that A.S. Roman 
have been monitoring the situation of NS Nyama since the 80s. I'm telling you, last season they were watching the player, they loved what the player was doing. So, this is what NS uh, uh, AS Roma did. AS Roma decided to call NS Nyama first. They spoke to the player and they sorted things out at that side. Then they went on to call Lyon and ask them, what do we have to do to meet the conditions to get NS Nyama, your young star? And then they were told but you know as roma they are holding on a bit because of the amount that was mentioned to them now that amount is not known yet but most reports you are seeing is because of the amount that is why as roma have not really gone further to go in for ns Nyama. but we follow up on the situation and bring you more updates concerning ns Nyama. i believe he's one player that his potential has not been realized yet i think leon didn't bring out the best out of the player if they allow him Today for one more season, I'm sure he's going to be explosive. Our own Ghana Messi, Ghana uh, Mbappé, I mean, he's very good. So guys, that is the latest update concerning Ernest Nyama. Now let's move away from that and talk about English-born Ghanaian player, Daku JB. Now this player, he used to play for Man City and then Man City allowed him to leave and then he signed for Leeds United. Leeds United, no one did him, but he wasn't playing United, he's not a player at all. And then they started loaning him out. Now last season, he was loaned to play what? And when he went there, he played very well for them. He did so well. Now, he made only 10 appearances, but all the appearances he made, he came off the bench. He's a very, very young player. And they were excited with what he did. Now, when the season ended, he went back to his parent club, which is Leeds United. And they made it away to him that you are not still ready yet to integrate into the first team. So, I mean, look for options so that we can send you on loan. And guess what? Plymouth has signed a new coach in the person of Wayne Rooney. And Rooney said this, he said that when he came to the club, people around the club started telling him about JB Dark with that fair. This player last season, anytime he came off the bench, he was very effective and he's very young. We can develop him as our own so that in the future we can sign him permanently. And then Rooney was like, see, he was excited because the video he was being shown was very exciting to see. And he wanted to see the player, you know, play under him because he feels like he's a midfielder that could do more. He's a midfielder that will fit his style of play. So he went in and requested for another loan for the player to come back. So the good news is that Daku JB is going back on loan at Plymouth for, 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 for the next season. And I'm happy for the player. He's going to play again, uh, under a very, you know, good legend. He's not a good coach per se, but then he's a good legend. And I believe that he can learn a lot from when Rooney. So guys, this is the latest update concerning Daku JB. Now let's move away from that and talk about Kotoko forward Mukwana. Yes, Mukwana. Steven Mukwana. He, he, he actually plays for the Uganda national team. He's a very good player for Santi Kotoko. But for some reason, Santi Kotoko is sucking almost every single player in their team. And guess what? Mukwana has signed for Simba FC. He's going to collect cash. Currently, per multiple reports, is going to end times five what he was ending at Asante Kotoko. So that is good for the player. I saw his, you know, message he was saying to the fans, he was crying, but Charlie, who smoke or take us? Who smoke or take us? You never want at the top. So, I mean, I'm happy for Mukwala. He came to Ghana, he did his turn, he left an, a, a big, you know, impression on us on what he did in the Ghana Premier League. For me, I think he was one of Kotoko's best players when it comes to scoring goals and goal creation. For me, it was Steven Mukwala because he was performing both for club and country. And that is it. That is the only argument I can make for this player. But then the good news is that he has joined Simba FC and oh, we wish him what the best. He should continue. We are going to see him in Africa probably. He could meet, you know, one of the teams that have qualified for Africa and then we'll be rooting for him. So, guys, let's move away from that and talk about some Olympics. Now, it's few days to the Olympics and our Ghana boys will be competing in some disciplines. Now, let's talk about swimming a bit. Now, according to reports and according to what I've seen from three sports, Harry Stacey and also Jocelyn Mensah have all qualified due to World Card to, to represent Ghana at the Olympics. Now, I'm very happy for this because when it comes to the Olympics, you hardly see Ghanaians participating in certain disciplines. For instance, the streaming like this, you always see names and you'd have to ask yourself, Harry Stacey now has no way Ghanaian and I guess he's a Ghanaian. And then the, 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 the athlete has said some few words about him, you know, qualifying due to the World Cup. Now, we all know he used to be Abeku Jackson, but then Abeku Jackson did not make the cut. Now, he has been replaced by Harry Stacey. Now, Harry Stacey, we go support him. We like the, the, the fact that he is representing Ghana. And then 
uh, just new men's uh, for the you know the women's side. So this is the latest update concerning the Olympics. Now we they add the Olympics updates to what we did. We should see everything all will be you know compact and very simple for all of you. So guys, this is the latest update I have concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players and also with the Olympics. Now I'm ending today's video with what Harry Stacey had to say about representing Ghana in the Olympics, especially in the swimming department. Let's check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Charlie, we go by it. But you're just learning how to swim. But then after a while, you start competing and you start hearing the word Olympics and World Championships and stuff like this. And then it's like, oh, so there's this, this, is, this is the end goal to get to that level. And yeah, to finally reach the, the pinnacle of swimming. I mean, it's, yeah, it's surreal. It hasn't really sunk in yet. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy about it.